Open Heavens on the Go. Monday, March 11th, 2024. Topic, Anointed Hands. Memory Verse, Luke 4, 40. Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Bible reading, Exodus 17, 8 to 13. Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out, men, and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow, I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hor went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy. And they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hor stayed up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The Message when you see a man of God laying hands on people and they get healed, it is because those hands have been in contact with the fire of God. Ordinary hands become anointed once they come in contact with the fire of God. In Exodus 3, when Moses threw his rod on the holy ground, it became a serpent and the Lord asked him to pick the serpent up by the tail. As Moses bent to pick up the serpent, his own hands also brushed the ground that the fire had touched. From that day on, his hands became special. In Exodus 17, 8-13, we see those hands deciding the outcome of a war between Israel and the Amalekites. Every time he lifted his hands, Israel won, but when his hands got heavy and were going down, the Amalekites began to win. Aaron and Hall were with him. They had four hands combined, but they knew that Moses' hands, which had touched the holy ground, were different from ordinary hands. So, rather than lift up their own hands, they helped Moses keep his hands up. In Exodus 14, 16, God said to Moses, But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. God had anointed Moses' hands, so he ordered him to stretch them over the Red Sea, to divide it. So, in Exodus 14, 21, when Moses stretched out his hands over the sea, it had no choice but to part into two. In Deuteronomy 34, 9, those hands also transmitted wisdom into Joshua. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. The power of God turns the ordinary into extraordinary. If you read John 9, 1-7, where Jesus saw a man who was born blind, he spat on the ground, made some mud out of it, and anointed the blind man's eyes. Ordinary mud can become anointed mud. It all depends on whose hands the mud is in. 
Your hands can also become anointed today, but first, they must be holy hands. Psalm 24, 3-4 says that only those who have holy hands can ascend into the heel of the Lord where they can come in contact with the fire of God. Reflection Do you have holy hands? The fire of God can only rest on holy hands. Bible reading in one year, Joshua 23 to 24. Him for today, that wonderful name, Jesus. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboy, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.